He did it so well, we had take-home pay rising faster than it had in 30 years. Our corrupt leadership, remember this, our corrupt leadership said, if you put tariffs on China, prices will go up. Instead, Donald Trump did exactly that. Manufacturing came back and prices went down for American citizens. They went up for the Chinese, but they went down for our people. Because when you make your own stuff with the hands of American workers, the whole country prospers. We know that in Michigan better than anywhere. Now, our corrupt leadership said if you enforce the border, people south of the border are going to suffer. But Donald Trump recognized that his first responsibility as president was to the American citizen and not to anybody else. So he shut down that border. He shut off the drug trade. He drove the cartels out of business, and he had overdose deaths falling in this country. What an amazing thing it was. Remember, our corrupt leadership said that you can't defeat ISIS. Remember that? Just a few, few years ago, they said, we're going to have to reinvade Iraq to defeat ISIS. Donald Trump defeated ISIS in a matter of weeks, and then he brought America's sons and daughters home. What an amazing, amazing track record of leadership. But let's be honest. The country wasn't broken in four years, and four years was not enough time to root out all of the corruption. So while Americans were getting richer, a lot of bureaucrats and globalists were getting poorer. That was the story of Trump's term. So Kamala Harris, she and her corrupt handlers, they came up with a plan. Now, they couldn't beat Donald Trump in an honest debate, so they decided to engage in censorship. They were going to censor Donald Trump, and they were going to censor his supporters. Now, remember, Back in 2020, they lied about Biden's corruption and covered up the fa fact that his family got rich by selling access to the United States government. And Kamala Harris was there for all of it. They lied about the Hunter Biden laptop and encouraged, encouraged big tech to silence the story. And they did. They lied about COVID coming from a Chinese lab and they censored anybody who disagreed. Kamala Harris even went on national TV and said Joe Biden was as sharp as a tack even he was clearly mentally incompetent to do the job. And so it's obvious what's been going on, right? Kamala Harris has been calling the shots. And by lying about his mental fitness for the job, she got what she always wanted, which was more power. And what was the result? On her watch, gas prices are up 50%. Housing costs have doubled. You talk to a young person today, young people cannot afford to buy a home in their own country. We're turning a generation of 20 and 30 year olds into permanent debtors. Donald Trump and I believe young people ought to own a stake in their own country, be able to build a life and start a family. That's what, that's what we're fighting for.